Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. So in the previous few videos, we went over how to create multiple enemies and detect collision with the enemies and how to set Mega Man invincible after colliding with an enemy so that Mega Man has time to move out of the enemy's range to avoid taking additional damage. So in this video, we're going to combine all of that with a health bar. So in video games, the player has a set amount of health and every time the player takes damage, we deduct points from the health and we display the health with a health bar. So the first thing I'm going to do here is scroll down to our player class and over here, I'm going to add two more fields. First, we need to define the max health. So I'm going to do self.max health and in Mega Man, the player has 28 health points. So I'm going to do 28. And we want another field for the current health. So I'm just going to call this health. And by default, we are at max health. So this will be self.max health. So this is the maximum health the player has. And this is the current health. So this goes up and down as the player plays the game. When we take damage, we deduct from this field. And if we pick up an item that recovers health, then we add health back to this field. All right, so we have the health. Now we need to draw the health bar. So I'm going to start by just drawing a rectangle. And later on, I'm going to show you how to create the classic health bar that you see in the Mega Man game series. So let's scroll down to our draw function. And essentially how a health bar works is you have two rectangles. One is on top of the other rectangle. So one rectangle would be for the full health and the other rectangle will be for the current health. So let's start off by drawing a rectangle. So I'll do pygame.draw.rec window and the color, I'm going to make it red. And then here we need to specify the X position and Y position. So I'm just going to do tile size, tile size. And then we need to specify the width and height. So for the width, we have 28 health points for full health. And for each point, I'm going to make it 10 pixels wide. So here I'll do 10 times player dot max health. And for the height, I'm just going to make it 10. So each health point is basically a square. So let's save and run a program to see what we have so far. All right, so you can see we have a health bar over here and we have 20 health points. So 28 times 10 is 280 pixels. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle over it to represent the current player health. So for that, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to change the color to green. So in video games, you usually see the health bar as a green color. And every time the player loses health, you see the green rectangle shrinking and exposing the red rectangle behind. So for the green rectangle, instead of max health, we're going to do the current health. So this is going to be health and let's save and run the program. And you can see now the health bar is green. Now we need to make the player take damage and reduce the health bar every time the player takes damage. So let's go ahead and do that. So in our move function, we have collision detection over here. And so what I'm going to do is player dot health minus equal one. Now, of course, the amount of health you deduct varies based on how you're taking damage. If the enemy fires bullets at you, maybe you might take more damage than if you were to just simply touch the enemy. But for now, let's just make it one point every time the player touches the enemy. So let's save and run the program. All right, so we have our health bar and I'm going to run towards the Matal. And you can see every second we touch the Matal, we are taking damage. And this green bar is slowly shrinking because the width is shrinking due to the health field decreasing by one every time Mega Man touches the Matal. And if I charge at the enemy again, you can see the bar is slowly shrinking. All right, so that's how you can create a basic health bar. And this second rectangle is not necessary. In some games, maybe you just have one rectangle. But having this second rectangle is nice because it is an indicator showing you how much health you can have or rather how much health you had when it was 100%. So it's more like a progress bar. So if I remove this, if I comment this out and I save and run the program, you can see we still have a health bar, but it is not apparent as to how much health Mega Man originally had. 
So that's why in most games, we would use two rectangles to indicate some form of percentage or ratio of the player's current health to the player's max health. All right, so that's how you can create a health bar. Now I'm going to show you how to create the classic Mega Man health bar. So if you go to the GitHub link in the video description, you should find the repository for this tutorial series. And in that repository, you'll find the images folder. And throughout the series, as we progress, I would be adding more images to that folder. So we have this health bar image, and it is 160 pixels by 40 pixels. Of course, we're going to scale it down. So it's going to be 16 pixels by four pixels. And essentially, we're going to stack this rectangle vertically, and we're going to stack it 28 times. So over here, I'm going to add two more variables health width, this is going to be 16 pixels and health height is going to be four pixels. Now we need to load the image. So here I'm going to do health image, load image, health.png. And I'm going to pass in a tuple of health width and health height. All right, now let's draw all of these rectangles. So in our draw function, I'm going to comment this out. And of course, we're going to have a background rectangle. So the background is just going to be black. So I'm going to do pygame.draw.rec window black tile size for the X position and tile size for the Y position. And the width is not going to change. So it's going to be the width of the individual health rectangles. So here I'll do health width. And for the height, it's going to be the height of each health rectangle multiplied by the player max health. So this is going to be health height times player dot max health. So if I save and run a program, you can see we have this black rectangle. So this is what the health bar would look like once Mega Man runs out of health. Now we need to fill in the individual health boxes. So for that, I'm going to use a for loop. So here I'm going to do for i in range player dot max health minus player dot health. So this is the starting point for where to start drawing these individual rectangle blocks. And this is because when Mega Man takes damage, the health bar is going to start decreasing from the top. And because we draw rectangles starting from the top left corner, we need to offset it down. So unlike with the red and green health bar, where we are subtracting from the right side, since we are drawing starting from the top left corner and we deduct health from the right side, we don't have to worry about shifting anything down. So here we're just going to take the health difference between the max health and the current player health and use that as the starting point for where to draw the top of the health bar. And of course, the stopping point is going to be player.maxhealth. And since this is an image, we're going to do window dot blit health image tile size for the X position. And for the Y position, this will depend on how much health the player has. So basically how much we're offsetting down. So here we'll do tile size as the starting point plus an offset of I times health height. And then for the width and height of each individual rectangle, it's just going to be health width and health height. All right, so let's save and run the program. So now you can see we have a full health bar. And now if Mega Man touches the Metal enemy, we lose one health point every time. And of course, since we make Mega Man invincible for one second, we only take one damage per second. And this means that since we have 28 health points, after 28 seconds, the health bar will be empty. All right, so the health bar is empty. Now at this point, this is where Mega Man loses one life and the game restarts. Now, of course, we are at the early stage of designing this game. So I'm going to leave that for a later video. Now, before we end this video, I want to show you what happens if we did not have the invincibility. So over here, I'm going to comment this part out so that we never set Mega Man invincible. Now, if I save and run the program and I charge at the Metal enemy, you can see the health bar goes all the way down very quickly. So let's uncomment that out. All right, so that's it for this video. This is how you can create a health bar for your game. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to shoot bullets at the enemies. 
So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you want to stay up to date for more Python game programming tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.